Hey guys, so I just, I, I realized recently, you know, I've been having all these symptoms of EMF radiation. Like, that kind of thing. No, I didn't know any, I didn't know this is where my head is all the time. This is where I sleep. This is my pillows, right? ADHD is so common, it's yeah, I'm dead. I'm already dead. Okay, now, anybody here got a smart meter or an advanced meter? Yes. I really solidly recommend that you put a lot of effort into getting rid of... Smart meter that is the same kind APS is using in their service territory now. I'd say Landis and Gear, Focus, AXR. Some of them are, are wickedly strong and they transmit 24 seven, just like a cell phone tower. I mean, people are not telling you these things. You need to know. Are you helping to divide us more? Or are you helping to bring us together? Do you really understand what this country is all about? It'll never be turned around until you learn what you need to know. You don't even recognize half the weapons that they use against you. After having 12 upgraded meters installed on her bedroom wall, Rosa Perrick began experiencing headaches and insomnia. I lived through Nazis, communist soldiers, uh, Cossacks. Nobody damaged my health as much as smart meters did. This is supposed to be my golden years. Instead, these are my bloody years. You did not give me all option. When you came and installed, you did not give me option. I didn't have no option. You came after me. You deceived me. I have something to show you. This is my, I have no control when I'm going to bleed, when my nose is going to bleed. This is the blood from my nose. I cannot even sleep on my own bed anymore. I have to close the door to the bedroom and sleep on chairs in the living room or put the mattress down, sleeping bag on the floor. Uh, do you ever have nosebleeds away from your apartment? I'm sorry, your time is up. Thank you very much. I appreciate your, you coming. Your time is up. Your time is up. So this is not like your baby monitor. This isn't like your cell phone. Uh, this is like no other device you're exposed to because it's using all the wiring that travels through this panel as an antenna. So it's an energized because antenna. Because it's connected to it. Correct, it's the largest antenna and you're exposed to this 24 seven if you're in the house 24 seven. So it never cleans up as you saw. It, yeah. Once you put this thing on, it's a nightmare. Regular heartbeat, headache, dizziness, that's what several Pepco customers say they are experiencing after wireless smart meters were installed at their homes. And now Nine wants to know why these meters are emitting radiation far more frequently than Pepco claims. Our Kristen Fisher uncovered this new evidence, and Kristen, this is similar to the radiation debate over cell phones and cancer, right? Yes, this is very similar to that debate in that it's the same kind of radiation, and the research into its safety is not conclusive. But here's the big difference. You can choose how often you use your cell phone, right? But with smart meters, you don't have a choice. The frequency with which you are exposed to this radiation is determined by the power company. And as I found, it may be a lot more frequent than they claim. This is a meter that tests for radio frequency radiation, the same kind of radiation that's emitted by smart meters. And today, that way we know that any radiation we pick up is coming from the meters. So this is a smart meter bank. It's inside a Northwest DC condominium building, and there's 32 different smart meters inside this building. So what I did was I brought in a meter that measures the levels of radio frequency radiation, and what I'm finding is that these smart meters are emitting radiation every few seconds. But Pepco says smart meter communications take place every four to six hours. We are seeing one of the strangest global events of our lifetimes. Power companies in the USA, Canada, Europe, Japan, and who knows where else, who have no business other than to safely deliver utility services to us, have been enlisted by some global agenda to install radiation emitting surveillance devices on our homes that they are calling smart meters. The reason that this is so strange 
is that even after we have told them that these devices are dangerous, harmful, unlawful, and invasive, they flatly ignore us and continue to attempt the installations as if we were speaking to a hole in the ground. We know now that our power companies were perfectly aware of the problems with these meters from the beginning. And they even developed and planned strategies to withhold information about the meters, to install the devices without our knowledge or consent. If your head was on the other side of this panel, uh, which mine was when I first was introduced to the smart Because your, your bed was right there. My, my bed was on the other side of the panel for the, for the yeah. house. So I was uh, absorbing quite a large magnetic field and an electric field. As this will... In addition to the, to the broadcast microwaves. They can give to other people. It's not up to consumer to, to, to demonstrate they are unsafe. It's a, it's a technology done by private companies, these electric companies, the private companies that have the right to install this on your house, destroy your health, and there's no accountability at all. While industry has failed to do any peer-reviewed studies on smart meters and health effects, a growing body of independent research is now starting to accumulate. It is our experience as physicians that everybody is equally electrosensitive. You install this thing, measurably certain things in your health go down. You know, we, we're tracking now certain sensitive parameters of it. One is an inflammatory marker called TGF beta 1. Goes way, way up as soon as the smart meter is installed. Uh, the MMP9, that's the metalloproteinases, go way, way up. These are inflammatory markers. The copper level in the serum goes up as a sign of chronic inflammation driven by something that's suddenly there. Um, the hormones go way off. The neurotransmitters go way off. So we have lab tests that we can show. Here's a patient, we monitor him for 10 years before, he was completely normal. The smart meter was installed six months later, the patient looks like a dying patient from the lab work. And we find those changes even in people that say, well, my wife is sick since the smart meter's in there, but I'm totally healthy. But we look at the lab work, it looks just as bad. You know, so some people have an awareness of health and goodness in them, and other people don't. But from what our experience is that everybody is affected by it. It's not just a few, 3% of electrosensitive people. I want to look up what's happening in the kilohertz range. These are just some of the studies. But, uh, and these aren't stack. Well, this is a stack, and some of them are single pages. This is from the IEEE, so you can find this with the IEEE. Uh, That's a mainstream organization of, of electrical engineers, isn't it? Right, and right, that, and that, right. What's, what's that study saying? Uh, it's saying that they're able to uh, cause, uh, well, this one right here, uh, electrical stimulation of ton, 10 kilohertz at 5 milliamps was applied for 5 seconds at half the exonal length. Um, what are they what's trying to do? They're, they're modeling analysis of negative effects of high frequency electrical stimulation on axonal behaviors. So that's the... <laughs> That's the title for that particular one. Here's another one. High frequency electrical conduction block of mammalian uh, peripheral motor nerve. Uh -huh. Okay. No, Using no, no, 10 mammalian kilohertz. Mammalian would be us. Right, right, yeah. right. 10 kilohertz, 30 kilohertz, um, localized electrical nerve blocking at 10 kilohertz again. Uh, Anyway, we could go on and on and on, but uh -huh. this is these what, are all, but these are all mainstream organizations. Mainstream organizations, yeah. There, there's no there's no uh, uh, debating this. Right. <laughs> there there are no studies saying that these frequencies that the smart meter is producing on the electrical wiring or on the electrical field that we're absorbing do not have an effect, a biological effect. There are no studies that are saying that. Not one. House in a development, every apartment in a building has got one of these things. Each one's got a switching power supply in it, and they're all big generators of dirty electricity. And I'm certain it's the it's the device that changes the AC to DC. We wanted to get an accurate reading to see just how much dirty electricity can be caused by a bank of smart meters and what it can do to living conditions. So we brought in technician Eric Windheim, and this is what we found. We're here today testing for dirty electricity. The 60 cycle sine wave has been filtered out, so what we're looking at is just the dirty high frequency voltage transients coming in on the line. These are very hazardous to your health and they create a huge electrostatic field charge 
inside your house with all of your wiring being antenna and you being on the inside of this antenna cage. So let's plug this meter in and see what kind of a reading we get. We're seeing levels here at over 20,000. This one reads up to 2,000. This one reads up to 20,000. It's interesting to note that for safety reasons, anything over 50 is banned in certain countries around the world. When you get up to 75, I've been informed that the electricity goes internal to the human body. In this room here, we're over 20,000. Smart meter that is the same kind APS is using in their service territory now. It's a Landison Gear Focus AXR. And uh, we're going to be running the electricity for. Wow. So we're going to try to catch it when it transmits. Yeah. yeah. That didn't look like that when we just had, wow, right. we just had the analog going. Right. So I've had enough of that. That was a lot of transmissions, too, in just a small amount of time. And we're seeing this with the new, uh, yeah. the new smart meters. Yeah, they're more active. Much more active. Yeah, not that the other ones were good, but right. this is worse. Right. right. So if your head was on the other side of this panel, uh, which mine was when I first was introduced to the so smart cause meters. Because your bed was right there. My, my bed was on the other side of the panel for the, for yeah. the house. So I was... Uh, absorbing quite a large magnetic field and an electric field yeah. as this will in addition to the to the broadcast microwaves right and yeah. so when they when this started to transmit I woke up and that yeah. was at 3 12 in the morning yeah so so I think what we're seeing here folks is is not just the microwave transmissions that go through the air uh, from the smart meter but they also because this is at the entrance of the electricity to your house the transmission, the frequencies of the transmissions get get sent along the wiring as well, and that's what we're seeing here on this fluke oscilloscope. Is that right? Is that, that, that that's correct, yeah. and it just doesn't stay in the wiring. Right. It actually radiates six to eight feet from the wire, so uh -huh. it's not just coming from the little outlet. If right. you were to it's take the, the wire, yeah, yeah. So we're basically living in a in a big antenna. Right. Yeah. Correct. Correct. So you can't really escape that. So yeah. people that are sleeping in a bedroom with a smart meter connected to it are going to have a higher exposure than somebody that's going to sleep in a room on the other side of the house. They're still yeah. going to have an exposure, yeah. but not a great as great as one. Yeah, yeah. And so this would explain why a lot of people who could handle uh, a, a baby monitor, uh, their cell phone, the Wi-Fi, all that stuff, this is why the smart meter puts those people over the top. Hey guys, so I just I, I realized recently, you know, I've been having all these symptoms of EMF radiation, like my teeth are like falling out of my head and then cracking and crumbling and they hurt and I got extreme tinnitus all the time. I feel extreme fatigue all the time. I can't stay up more than a few hours. I'm heart palpitations, crazy anxiety, depression, tingling, heart palpitations. Did I say that already? crazy brain fogness it's hard to control words so i just happened to come across the showing uh that these are the effects of radiation emf radiation right now like a maniac I, look at this i put all this aluminum multiple layers of aluminum screen on my wall what a maniac i am right and tinfoil. Well, guess what? I just put a, got a battery in the, my EMF detector that I just ordered, right? It's not really... It's not really doing enough. Even with all these layers, I got like five layers of screen, aluminum screen. This is what I'm sleeping in for over a year. Okay? When I'm sleeping. This is from a smart meter on the other side of the wall that, that the electric companies put in and don't fucking even tell you or ask, for, you know. And then they fight with you if you want the old analog. This is behind my fucking head. Multiple layers of shit on the wall here. Screens. Aluminum screens. 
Okay. Don't worry, everybody. Don't do nothing. Just wait for f***ing 5G and enjoy it. Everyone, the electric company... Yo, I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of this. This is why I've been feeling so f***ed up all the time. All right, awesome. This is why... I, I, all right. Just to give you an example, here's like in front of the TV, right? My wall is putting out one, oh, three point whatever. The TV only puts out, you know. Where I sleep. Look at where it. I sleep. With no foil or, or screening. Both levels go up. You have kids or f***ing, you know, small pets. I don't know, you might want to be aware of this and, and uh, you know, maybe not have you, uh, uh, like a baby's crib next to a wall like this, you know? Where, where, uh, you, you, you just be sitting in this 24-7, like me. Hey, Rita. Nobody's looking out for us. Nobody's protecting us, okay? The 5 we're gonna put up, it's the same frequency as the f***ers in Riot Gear. So, you, you might want to be aware of this You might want to talk to your electric company. You might notice how they put these in on the sneak and they don't tell you they're putting them in. And they'll, they'll, and they don't let, they don't want you taking them out. They don't want you having the old one. Um, sorry. Um, I'm just putting in your meters. Your power's gonna be up for about 20, well, when I find the meters. Are they, they're down here, right? I'll show you the door. I had heard her banging, but I didn't know that she actually kicked the door in until she left. Because when, when she left, I came here and I found this on the ground. I was like, wow, she actually kicked the door in. The morning the guy came in to change the meters, this had been shattered. He had taken a deadbolt cutter and cut up our chain and basically pried their door open and walked right in here. And when he left, the chain was laying on the ground and it was broken. The lock was broken also. Vandalized the property um, and forced his way onto my property without buzzing any of the building buzzers. Do a little research. Look, look, look into smart meters and how, how safe they are for you. So, so this is not like your baby monitor. This isn't like your cell phone. Uh, this is like no other device you're exposed to because it's using all the wiring that travels through this panel as an antenna. So it's an energized because it's, antenna. Because it's connected to it. Correct. It's the largest antenna, and you're exposed to this 24-7 if you're in the house 24-7. So it never cleans up, as you saw. It, yeah. Once you put this thing on, it's a nightmare. Yeah. So.